Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel, where we bring you the latest news and information from around the world. In today's video, we'll be discussing how India is building capacities to prevent and counter terrorism. We'll be referring to two sources, the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, UNODC, and the Economic Times. Let's begin by looking at the UNODC report, which highlights India's efforts to prevent and counter terrorism. According to the report, India has taken significant steps to strengthen its legal framework to combat terrorism. The country has also implemented several measures to enhance the capacity of its law enforcement agencies, including the establishment of specialized anti-terrorist units and the creation of an integrated database for sharing intelligence. Furthermore, India has also increased its cooperation with neighboring countries and international organizations to address the cross-border threat of terrorism. The country has signed various agreements and memorandums of understanding with countries such as the United States, France, and Australia to strengthen their joint efforts in combating terrorism. Moving on to the Economic Times article, it discusses a recent report released by the United States on global counterterrorism efforts. The report lauds India's actions in countering terrorism and commends the country for its strong legal framework, comprehensive approach, and effective use of intelligence to prevent attacks. The report also states that India's counter-terrorism efforts are superior to those of its neighboring country, Pakistan. In fact, the report goes on to say that Pakistan's action against terror groups has been meager, despite being a major victim of terrorism. It also highlights how Pakistan's selective approach in targeting terrorists has hindered its counter-terrorism efforts. In conclusion, India has made significant progress in building capacities to prevent and counter terrorism. Its efforts have been recognized by international organizations, including the United Nations and the United States. However, there is still more work to be done to address the evolving threat of terrorism. We hope you found this video informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thank you for watching.